Welcome to another exciting video on my channel today. My name is Damila Rialadene and today in this video, I am going to show you how you can extend the functionality of your web browsers using browser extensions. So having said that, what is a browser extension? Extensions are software programs that can be used to extend the functionality of your web browsers and they give you more options and versatility so for an internet user if you consider the option of using web browser extensions you would have successfully extended the functionality that is available for you on your web browsers be it safari be it chrome be it mozilla firefox be it use web browser be it brave browser and so on and so forth and having said that, I'd like you to learn today how you can get a good browser extension for yourself. And like I said the other time, what an extension does for you is virtually to extend the functionality on your web browser. So if you do not have an extension, for example, on your web browser, it is possible that the options that are available for you on that web browser is limited so to extend the functionality and to include more features on your web browser what you need to do is to enable or to install web browser extensions and for google chrome particularly which is one of the most reputable web browsers that we have if you are using windows or you are using google services what you need to do is to go to your google page and uh, search you search chrome extension store and having done that the result is going to pop out and you are going to click on the very one having this url https chrome.google.com so for me i'm going to open it in the new web browser tab and then after you get onto this page you are going to make sure that this extension icon is selected and if you are just getting started, you don't know what extension to install on your device. Well, I will give you a clue. You can just write a general topic that you want the extension to solve for you. For example, in correction or grammar, I'd like to use a very reputable and popular web browser extension and that is grammarly but let's also just assume that i don't know about grammarly i just want to look for an extension that does that function what i'm going to do here is to type writing all right and having typed on writing here i click on enter so any web browser extension that is in that particular category that does that function will be displayed and we have dpl translate what tune ai powered writing companion and we have quillbot and if you know about web browsers a lot you will know that these browser extensions that you are seeing here displayed on my screen are very good at what they do so what i need you to do now is to click on more extension to see more of these extensions that does this work perfectly so if you scroll down you are going to have them here having talked about the basic functions that a web browser extension does i'm going to look for a very useful popular extension for our use here and the basic way i can go about doing so is to come to the search extension here and to write a particular function so as to look for the extensions that will show up that can perform that same function so i'm going to look for word correct and i'm going to click on enter so for this particular feature you can see the options that are showing up here and if you observe very well you're going to see that we have extension here and we have themes here so i don't need the theme i only need extension so i'm going to click on extension right here on my screen and if you scroll down you are going to see the extensions that happen to fall to that category and i'm going to list for you the basic things that you need to know when you are looking for a browser extension because one of the things that happens on the internet space is the fact that some people 
normally inject malicious code into these extension programs and they publish it on stores like Chrome extension store so that people who install such extensions onto their browsers will fall victim of their tricks. For me, there is a golden rule I used to follow and that is to apply my filters. Before I begin to search for any extension at all, what I basically do is to look for certain features and the first feature to look for in a particular extension is to check the review of the people who have actually used the extension in the past. So check what they are saying, be it positive review, be it negative review, check for the time that people spoke positively about the extension and check about the time that they spoke negatively about the extension. Then the next thing you want to look for is the star rating. So if you check the star rating of a particular extension and you discover that the star rating is very low, I beg you might not want to go near such a browser extension. So on my screen here, if I see this thing pub monkey, for example, now you can see that the number of people that have actually used this particular extension, it transcends 70,000. We have 70,434 and we have the uh, star rating to be 4.7 out of 5. This is actually fair enough. So if I click on this particular extension now and I come to reviews, you are going to see what people have said concerning this extension and you are going to see the date. You can see that this verification badge is displayed. So this is one of the things to check about any extension that you are considering to install on your browser. So what next I need to do if I decide to get this extension on my browser is to click on add to Chrome and this is showing Chrome for obvious reason. It is because we are using Chrome browser. So if I click on add to Chrome here, this is going to be checked and I'm going to give permission to this browser to add this extension. So if I click on add extension, this is going to be downloaded on my computer and you can see this notification Temper Monkey has been added to Chrome. All right. And this is going to take me to their page. By downloading this extension, you agree to end user license agreement. One important warning in advance, malicious quiz can violate your privacy and act on your behalf. So that is one of the things you can note. All right. I have just installed Temper Monkey to show you how you can install a browser extension on your device. So we are going to touch the usability of a browser extension but for me to enable this particular browser extension i am going to come to this icon which says extension and immediately i click on it i will look out for this icon and that is the icon for my newly installed browser extension and this is the icon that we are looking for. You can see the name here, Temper Monkey. So if I click on this pane icon now, it is going to show up on my screen. That means on whatever website I visit, if I decide to click on this icon now, this is showing enabled and I can use this icon. One thing that I need to tell you at this junction is the fact that there are some very useful browser extensions that you will not see easily on the Chrome extension store, but they are equally useful. So how are you going to get them? The simple way to get them is to go to the website of those who develop such an extension. Now, what if you really need the extension, but you cannot find it on the Chrome extension store? For example, let me try and look for another extension here and the extension is what we call Grammarly. Okay, Grammarly Auto Corrector. And when I search Grammarly Auto Corrector here, Grammar Checker and Paraphraser, I want the one by Grammarly, but it seems I'm not seeing it here. So if I click on more extension here and I scroll down, I can still find it here. So what I am going to do is to go to the real website of Grammarly and to do that, I am going to search for Grammarly 
Chrome extension. And having searched that on Google, we have their home page here. So if I click on this, the home page is going to open. And when I scroll down, I'll be able to see what they have to say concerning their installers. All right. Grammarly for your desktop, for Windows, for Mac. Grammarly browser extension. This is what we are looking for. Or for short, let's just click on this. Here is Grammarly home page. To get their extension, I will just have to scroll down and then look for this menu. This is Grammarly for Chrome. So if I right click and I open in the new browser tab, the next thing I'm going to do is to click on get Grammarly. It is free. Okay. And they are going to prompt me to get registered on this website. I have. I already have an account with Grammarly, but for me to show you how to create an account with Grammarly, I need to go to temporary mail and I'm going to copy a temporary email address. I don't want to use my real account. And um, the next thing you want to do is to click on agree and sign up. I'm going to save this and Grammarly is going to send a verification code. And after all those personalization, we finally see the menu that we are looking for. This is Add to Chrome. So if I click on Add to Chrome here, you can now see it here. So the next thing I'm going to do is to click on Add to Chrome, like you already know, Add Extension. All right. And that is going to download. That is the procedure. You can see it, it is already downloading here. It is going to install at the background. All right, you can see the notification here. Grammarly has been installed. Grammarly for Chrome is now active. Next, next, next. Continue to Grammarly. Okay, Chrome web browser. For me to be able to use this newly installed extension, I need to come to this extension icon again and pin Grammarly to my web page. And then I will look for any online text editor right so as to enable me to type okay and i would like to create a new notes all right let me quickly type you can see immediately there is a space for me to type this guy is showing up to tell me that grammarly is available all right so let me quickly type something So you can see this right off for example after writing it down you can see this one being highlighted and this is one of the functions of grammarly grammarly is going to go through any write-up that you give there and it is going to highlight the issues with to whatsoever you have written so on this my little write-up now i have this school and this word is being striked so when i click on this this will enable the change and then also for this this made my teachers to know me grammarly is telling me that the word to is not necessary so i'm going to accept this change and that is the work of grammarly so if you have learned one or the other on this video and you would like to know more or get more valuable content like this kindly consider subscribing to my youtube channel this is going to serve as an encouragement for me to keep producing valuable content and please Make sure that you click on the notification bell so that you will be told as soon as I upload a new video. I'm going to see you in the next video that is showing up now. Thank you very much.